When it comes to climate change, we talk a lot about car companies going green, switching to hybrids and electric. And now companies that pour the cement we drive on are joining the pledge. CBS 13's Laura Havely is live in Sacramento tonight with how cement makers are paving the way to a cleaner future. Laura. Well, cement is the main ingredient in concrete. We use cement for a lot of things, whether it's roadways or buildings, but it's really tough on the environment. So lawmakers and the industry itself are working to fix that. How much cement is the state of California using? I want to say it's around 11 million tons per year. Second only to Texas, California cement is a hot commodity. Our entire civilization is based on our material. From schools to roadways to building Sacramento's Golden One Center. Every building has a concrete foundation. Even helping homes get fire ready. Cement is used for all of it. Now the material is working to cement itself in California's future. But how? We're getting answers. But the California Nevada Cement Association released a carbon neutrality plan. Executive Director for California Nevada Cement Association Tom Teets tells CBS 13 the state has seven cement factories that must run all day every day to maintain high enough heat to melt materials. Those plants run on processed and fuel based emissions. California is now working to change that with the promise to go zero carbon by 2045. We're committed to making the material itself carbon neutral. Senate Bill 596 will make California the first state to target greenhouse emissions from cement, a move that Teats says will allow the easily imported commodity to remain in California, keeping jobs close to home and climate change in check. We're an essential part of the solution. So what will the new energy sources be? The Air Resources Board, the state's clean air agency, has to develop a metric comparing the environmental effects of different kinds of cement by July 2023. Now the cost for more energy efficient manufacturing plants is so high that the industry is forced to rely on the legislature for funding. Oh, fascinating stuff. All right, Laura, thanks so much for that live update.